One day, Binky, Rocky, and Pixie decided to make a space journey. The day before, they had an astronomy class in Binky Academy and liked it. Now they want to discover the solar system themselves and also show it to you. Our solar system is located in the Orion arm of the Milky Way galaxy. It has one star, the Sun, eight big planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune dwarf planets such as Pluto, dozens of moons, and millions of asteroids, comets, and meteoroids. Their first stop is the moon. Anyone can recognize its surface as it is covered with many craters that were formed when asteroids or comets collided with the moon's surface. The moon is Earth's only natural satellite and the fifth largest moon in the solar system. The Earth and moon rotations are synchronized, so we only see one side of the moon all the time. The moon was likely formed after some astronomical body collided with Earth. The next stop is the red planet Mars. Mars is the second smallest planet in the solar system after Mercury, roughly half the Earth's size. A year in Martian time lasts 687 Earth days. You could jump around three times higher on Mars than you can on Earth. This happens because the planet's gravity the force that keeps us on the ground is much weaker on Mars than on Earth. On their way to Jupiter, Binky and his friends meet the asteroid belt. The main asteroid belt orbits between Mars and Jupiter and contains millions of asteroids. Most of the asteroids in the main belt are made of rock and stone, but a small portion of them contain iron and nickel metals. Having passed the asteroids, Binky and friends see Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. It has a big red spot on its surface, which is actually a giant hurricane-like storm that has lasted over 300 years. Jupiter has four moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. A day on Jupiter lasts around 10 hours. The sixth planet from the Sun and second largest after Jupiter is Saturn. Saturn can easily be recognized by its rings, which are believed to be pieces of comets, asteroids, or destroyed moons that broke up before they reached Saturn and were torn apart by Saturn's powerful gravity. Saturn is the least dense planet of the solar system and is the only one less dense than water. If there were a bathtub big enough to hold it, Saturn would float in it. The last two planets of the solar system are Uranus and Neptune. Uranus was the first planet to be discovered by scientists. This planet is called the Sideways Planet because it rotates on its side. Neptune is the eighth and most distant planet in our solar system. It is an ice giant planet and about four times wider than Earth. Neptune takes about 16 hours to rotate once and about 165 Earth years to orbit the sun. On their way back from Neptune, our friends encounter a comet. Comets are icy, small solar system bodies. As they get closer to the sun, they heat up and disperse gases and dust. This forms a comet tail that can be millions of miles long. Now Binky and his friends go back to the center of the solar system to observe its brightest star. The sun is the heart of our solar system. Its gravity holds the solar system together. 
the sun belongs to so-called yellow dwarf stars category. Without the sun's energy, there would be no life on Earth. The sun is so big that it could fit about 1.3 million Earths. On their way back home, friends fly past Mercury and Venus. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system and also the closest to the sun. This is why the length of Mercury's year is only 88 Earth days. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system despite not being closest to the sun. Interesting that a day on Venus is longer than a year on Venus. Also, it is the most similar to Earth by size and structure and has mountains and volcanoes. Finally, Pinky, Rocky, and Pixie come back to Earth and would like to tell you some interesting facts about our home planet. Earth is an extraordinary planet because it has water that covers 70% of its surface. Earth's atmosphere protects it from incoming meteoroids, most of which get destroyed in the atmosphere before they can reach the surface.